Barbara from allbrands.com and I'm so excited that you're here with us today. I am so excited. We have an amazing program for you today with Jamie David from Bernina of America. Oh my goodness, do you know her? Well, you should because she's amazing. So stay tuned. Uh, at the end of this video, we're going to be giving away a $100 allbrands.com e-gift card. We're gonna have some amazing show specials and we're also going to be choosing some winners from our pre-registrants for other giveaways throughout the live event. So I hope that you enjoy this. And without further ado, let's bring in Jamie David. Hey, Jamie, welcome. Hi, Barbara. <laughs> so happy to have you on the show today. Can you tell us just a little bit about you? How'd you get started and what do you do at Bernina? Sure, and thanks for having me. This is a rare treat for me to get to come virtually to stores or to stores. Um, but yes, um, I am an educator for Burning of America, and my current role is a project manager on the education team. So it's a pretty specific role. Um, and what I do is has a lot to do with the content that um, we create for the dealers and for the consumers. So um, we have the Bernina We Also blog. So our education team contributes a lot to that. And that's kind of the way we structured our program today is some snippets from that blog and some of the content that we make there for consumers to just be inspired to use their Berninas and, the, and all of our products. And then of course, the other thing that I do, um, which dealers are going to know more about is writing mastery workbooks and doing dealer trainings. So it's the it's, we are the teaching team for our dealers who then teach you, the consumers, how to use our products. So it's, it's a fun job. It's pretty detailed. It's also pretty creative. So I consider myself an analytical creative, so I like it. Um, my background is in interior architecture, and I also have a master's of fine art. So I like the science and the art sides to things. So sewing has always really kind of fit the bill for that type of brain and being able to work my day-to-day -day, nine to five, whatever you want to call it job with Bernina has been a pretty amazing experience. Yeah, I think we're pretty lucky um, to be working at our dream jobs <laughs> as yes, sewers. Yes. <laughs> so, oh my goodness, we have uh, some amazing specials. Uh, we're going to talk about quilting with Bernina. We have tons and tons of stuff to show you guys today. But before we get started, I wanted to kind of let the cat out of the bag. Bernina has a promotion going on right now. It's called the Premier Package Event. And this is the best thing that I've seen in a very long time. I'm just amazed for May that it's we're going to really have such an amazing deal. Yeah. So let's bring up the slide just to let everybody know in the beginning. Right now, if you purchase a Bernina L790E Plus or, oh, sorry, B790E Plus or B880E Plus machine, you have a choice of a free gift. So you can choose a sewing machine, a serger, or a professional digitizing software to go with that. So that's been happening for the month of May, but starting tomorrow, you can combine this program with 60 months, 0% financing. Yes, on those two machines, but guess what? If you want something a little different, that financing applies to any machine over $3,000, that's Bernina, with your Bernina credit card. Um, and that's only starting tomorrow through the 18th. So isn't that phenomenal? It's a, it's a great promo. And I, you know, the other thing that I failed to mention is that I had have been working for the past five years as the serger specialist on the education team. So, so, of course, my favorite part of the package is the L460 serger that comes with the, as one of the choices. So I'm going to focus on that a little bit today, too, and show you guys some really exciting ways that you can use a serger for quilting, because quilting is the topic of the day. Yes, so many options to fit everyone's needs. And stay tuned at the end of this video, because I might just sweeten the pot. 
everybody <laughs> just because that's what I might do <laughs> so yeah and just a reminder for everyone we're going to be doing live giveaways throughout the event so please be sure to like comment and share or subscribe to be eligible for that and if you pre-registered you're also eligible so good luck so we're going to be talking about quilting on the b790e which i'm so super excited about yeah and and one of the amazing features that comes with the b790 that is my, one of my favorite things about bernina is the bernina stitch regulator so we're just going to start right with that and i'm going to show you a lot of ways different ways of doing quilting including the bernina stitch regulator and some other things. And then we're gonna hop over to the serger and then we're gonna come back to the sewing machine for some really cool binding um, demonstrations. But we've got lots of videos and all of that to do along the way. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to turn the camera over to the machine so we can, so I can show you some things at the machine. Perfect. So, and she is. I got to tell you, Jamie, when yeah. we put this program together, I was like, all right, I have the master with me today. It's two sewing nerds together in one live um, talking about the best machine for quilting. This machine is amazing. And it's because of, I think, BSR, which is the Bernina Stitch Regulator, no other domestic machine on the market can touch this hands down. This is why Bernina quilts. So yeah, that's why we're showing is. this first. This, this is the foot itself and it is a presser foot package. The package comes with three soles and I'm gonna show, um, show you guys those soles um, in the demonstration here. But yeah, I have to agree, Barbara. It's like, I think the Bernina stitch regulator. It's been around a little while now, but it really is a very special foot because it has a sensor along the bottom of the foot here that senses how fast you move the fabric and it speeds up and slows down the needle accordingly. And I always liked to use the analogy that using this is like using a kitchen aid, mi a kitchen aid mixer to make something in your kitchen versus a hand whisk if you were just doing regular free motion without a stitch regulator. So that was always kind of the analogy that worked for me. And um, I think it really is um, a very special foot. You put it on like any other presser foot. So it just goes onto the machine and attaches and then it will plug into, there's a socket on the back of the machine. And if I'm really good, I can feel this without standing up and moving to the back of the machine. So once I plug that in, this machine is pretty smart. So it's going to prompt me through a few things. So it's gonna tell me automatically that I need to lower my feed dogs. So that's on the side of the machine. And once I do that, the screen changes for me and it kind of navigates me through how to use this. Now, it wouldn't be a Bernina if we didn't give you tons of choices and options and ways that you can set how you do how you use this foot and, and how you quilt. So we have two styles. You can do straight line, you can do zigzag. So you can actually do like thread painting and get really like textural with some things. And you have two modes in which the BSR operates, mode one and mode two. Mode one, simply just the needle will stop moving when you stop moving the fabric. And mode two, the needle will kind of continually pulse as you move the fabric. And really, I have found that this is just preference on, on how you like to use it. But I wanted to go ahead, Barbara, if you guys can go ahead and just show that quick video. We made a little 60 second video on the three soles of this foot. So we'll watch that and then I'll do some demonstration.
Wow, what a game changer. I love this foot, Jamie. It's it's a lot of fun. And um, you know, it's like I like to practice on small things. So it's like these little printed panels that have the animals on it. This was a Moda collection of uh it's a little old, so probably a couple years now, maybe. But I like these little woodland creature animals to do some of this stuff because it's just a fun thing to trace and you can kind of get your practice in um, like training wheels, right? So these are a good way to do it. And you can turn these into like little pillows or you could put them together into a quilt as like a medallion if you wanted to. But um, like I said, I've got the foot on and I've got the options of how I want to operate it. But I just wanted to show you some basic techniques. And so I'm going to just kind of trace around. I've already traced around this guy a little bit here for the outline, but I'm going to go ahead and trace around um, the top of his head with, well, that sole I actually like to use the open toe sole for. Um, so actually, I think what I'm going to do, I have the closed toe um, sole on, so I think I'm actually going to add some texture to him. Um, first. So I'm going to select the zigzag stitch number two that is an option. And of course, you can change your stitch length and stitch width on here as well. So you don't have to just go with what's programmed for the default. But we'll just put a little zigzag to that. And then I like to kind of follow this, the outline that's in here or the texture that's in here already. So we'll just add some texture to him. And I am going to work in mode one you could run this with the start stop button on the machine, or you can also use your Bernina foot control. But I think it's a, it's a good practice. This is how I was taught to always pull up your thread tail when you're doing free motion. So you've got both of your thread tails up here at the top of your fabric. And I'm gonna make that just a little narrower, I think. And then, I'm going to go ahead and run this with my foot control today, but it's like I said, you have a choice for how you do pretty much everything with this machine. I'm going to raise the foot and I'm going to move those thread tails out of my way. And I'm going to then just run with start stop now. So you can see in mode one, there's the red light. So now I can see the sensors on, but when I go slow, it slows down. When I move fast, it speeds up. Wow. And all of the stitches are the same length throughout, no matter how fast or slow you push the fabric. This is gorgeous. So let us know in the comments, everyone. Um, have you done thread painting with free motion uh, quilting on your domestic machine? And does your domestic machine have the patented Bernina stitch regulator on it? It's fantastic. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this off and I'm going to show the open toe sole. So it's really easy. I mean, you can change the presser feet on a Bernina pretty much with one hand. And then of course, you know, the options of releasing this, just squeeze the two tabs at the side, and then you can slide on the other sole. So this one has the open toe and that's nice for following a shape. You can, you have nice visibility here. So again, it's kind of preference. Um, which one you like and which one you might use. So we asked Jamie in the comments, um, oh, who's done uh, who's done the thread painting? It looks like a lot of the folks that already have the 790 plus and the BSR have used it, except for one hasn't used it yet. So you need to take that out. Um, <laughs> use it on your machine that you have, uh, use it or lose it. Uh, but for the folks that don't have the 790, they haven't done the thread painting. Yeah, and I, th thread painting is fun because you can try all kinds of different threads and you can get really creative with, with um, 
you know, how you make that look. And it's just kind of nice. You can see this, this just adds some texture, you know? So if I want to just add some texture in here, that's kind of a nice way to do that just with that simple little stitch there. I don't know why it was telling me my feed dogs weren't dropped, but they are. So, so let's just keep going here. So I'm going to go ahead and lower the foot again. I'm gonna drop my needle. I've got a button here. I could do this also with my foot control. We've got a feature um, called the back kick on the foot control that will raise and lower the needle a half step as well. So any Bernina machine, pretty much, some of the entry levels don't come with that foot control, but most of our Berninas have that foot control and it's a really awesome feature as well. Chris in the comments says, I have a Bernina B79. So you can see as I speed up, mm -hmm. the needle speeds up. And so then all I am doing is basically focusing on the line on the raccoon's face that I want to follow. That's so easy. You make it look so easy, but it really is with the BSR. Pretty cool, huh? I love BSR. It's my favorite. And I love making textures when quilting and just being able to follow a, a pattern in the fabric that's already there. Um, it just, it makes it magic. Well, there's one last sole and it is the clear sole and it's nice and flat. So this is really perfect for any echo quilting um, techniques that you might like to try. Um, there's crosshairs in here, so it kind of lines up the needle in the middle position. You can follow these straight lines, and then you've got the different kind of rings at different levels. And so this is nice. It holds the, the um, quilt nice and flat underneath it, too. So this is a fun one for, you know, your echo quilting. And, you know, it's, it's clear, too. So if you like to do stipple, you could use this to do stipple as well. It's not just only for echo quilting. Like I said, it's really sort of about your preference. So, you know, let's see how creative I can get here. It is, you know, live TV here. So of course I <laughs> let this uh, kind of not up there. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing. Like I said, old habits, bring that bobbin thread up to the top. With the thread cutter that's on the 790, it cuts the thread and it would actually pick it up and I'd be able to do it. But like I said, this is sort of the way I was taught. So that's the way that I, the way that I go, but I'm gonna see if I can just, oops, and I just ran over those uh, thread tails. Let's try that again. This foot also works really well. If you have like a high loft um, quilt, because it helps kind of push the fabric uh, down around where the needle's going in. I found. Yeah, that's a that's a really good um, really good point. It's kind of like you know if anybody's got the Bernina long arm, we've got that kind of that cup quilt um, foot that goes on that to help kind of hold things nice and flat for thicker things. All right. I know what's wrong. It's not plugged in. I love that pattern that you have, Jamie. It's so super cute. So guys, if you have a Bernina machine that uh, has optional BSR, please call our stores um, to get that ordered um, in Louisiana or Texas. Um, you can shop specials in the description of this video. Um, if you have a BSR capable Bernina, um, you can always add the BSR and um, make this a feature that you have on your machine. So I think I snagged a thread here um, when I did that error earlier. So, you know, you know, it's like we all, <laughs> we all do it here. Yeah. Um, oh, hey. We got to talk about that little, uh, the, the little window underneath. Did you see how you can see the bobbin area yes, whenever she changes it? Right it's here. so easy. 
So I, you know, I'm doing that, trying to be really coy. So um, it looks, it looks easy and it is easy. Um, so I can get myself re-threaded here because I got a nice glob of thread underneath there as one does <laughs> when they um, start something without it actually connected. <laughs> so anyway, I was going to say too, Barbara, the really awesome thing about this promo with the 790, if you chose the 480, the 480 is one of our entry level machines and it doesn't come with the stitch regulator, but it is stitch regulator capable. So because you get the stitch regulator with the 790, you would also then be able to use this on your little machine. So if you go somewhere and are traveling, you want to take the smaller machine, you could still do some free motion stuff. And this, this size of panel would be just fine in a machine like that. That's perfect. Carol Lombard says that little window is so slick. And we had a question from Chris. Mark Culkin, he says, uh, will this work with the Burnett B79? No, this is a Bernina exclusive and it's on certain models that it's yeah, capable. Yeah, it works with a lot of the Bernina models now. There's some older models that it will not work with, but Burnett does not have a stitch regulator uh, at, this, at this time. And Bernina is the only domestic machine that has a stitch regulator built in like this yeah, using the lasers. I feel like there's some other stitch regulators in the market, but they don't quite work the same way as this with that sensor that's on the bottom of it. That's, you know, um, reading the fabric speed as you move. So now I'm a little gun shy. I'm going to hope, hope for the best here. I'll run it with my foot control this time. There's my light. So I'm good. The stitch regulator's on. I still feel, it feels a little crunchy to me because I still might have some thread under there. But I'm trying to basically follow the outline that I just made with this sole. And I can then just kind of echo quilt whatever pattern I wanted to around the background of my little raccoon here. <laughs> Gert says, looks really great, would love one. Well, Gert, we can make that happen for you. <laughs> All right. That is beautiful. And I'd love to <laughs> see it Barbara. close up too, um, so that we can see when you have a stitch regulator on your sewing machine, no matter how fast uh, you move right or left, up or down, uh, the stitch length is regulated and it's consistent throughout, which is awesome. Yeah. And it's, I mean, it really is like, so you can see right now when I am going really, really slow, it's moving slow. But when I speed up, that needle speeds up. Yeah, I like to say when you move, it moves. <laughs> but my stitches remain the length that I have set, you know, within a range, as long as you are not going so super fast that, you know, you make the, the machine crazy. But it really does kind of keep everything in that two and a half um, is what I've got mine set for. So my stitches all look consistently the same. And I'm just able to then focus on basically where I want to move the, the quilt underneath the machine. So you can pull your thread up or use the scissors to trim it up. Generally, when you do free motion, you want to um, bury your tails. But can we look at that up close? Yeah, let's see if it will pick it up here. I'll try and show you this. <gasps> Gorgeous. Yeah, I don't know if you can see the individual stitches, but they are pretty evenly consistent in there. That's um, another thing about Bernina that I... Uh, why Bernina quilts, exclamation point, is the quality of the three stitch. It's because of that vertical hook, it makes an amazing stitch. Yeah, you get, you get spoiled pretty quick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I think if, um, I think that kind of covers it in terms of what I was going to show with the BSR. And I wanted to talk about another feature that is relatively newer to our Bernina machines. And that is a feature called dual feed. So you can see this little guy back here that pulls down. So if you wanted to actually use feed dogs for quilting, um, you can, you can use, um, 
dual feed, you can use also, of course, a walking foot on the machine. And this is, you know, kind of one of those things that people often ask, well, what is the difference between dual feed and a walking foot? And there's a really excellent blog post that we've included in some of the swag bag links for you guys about this that was written by Susan Beck. And it's like the walking foot has been around for a long time and it, or a longer time, right? So what it does is the clamp here will um, fit around your needle bar. And then you can see I've got these big rubber pads here. And when this moves, those move. And so what that enables the machine to do is basically grab the fabric and move it together evenly. So this works really, really well for quilts. And I think it works better than dual feed. Dual feed to me is, is a great feature for your piecing and you can do some quilting with it, but you can see that it is essentially a motorized feed dog on top. So we've got feed dogs down here, right here that move the fabric. And then what happens is there always just normally is some, some slipping that happens with that fabric as you are working, you know, multiple layers. So- Jamie, it, can I just say, the feed dogs that come on this machine are a monster. Like they are serious feed dogs. They will definitely feed your fabric backwards, but in combination with the dual feed on the top. Wow. Yeah. And Bernina's feed dog system is, is I think it's referred to as a box style feed dog. So it actually is moving and then coming straight up and then moving and then dropping and then coming rather than being like in a circle shape, if that if there's any mechanical people out there that, <laughs> that can think about that. But I think that's always been part of like what's maybe set our machines apart is that kind of thinking about how all of the pieces and parts work together. And that kind of feed dog really gives you that perfect stitch um, and that even feeding that you're used to from a Bernina. Um, but this 790 comes with, what did we say? It comes with, I think, several, it's 10 presser feet. Um, oh, yes. It and it's it, also and an it's embroidery like, machine, so it also has the embroidery foot as well. So Yes. And it has three dual feed presser feet that come with it. Um, the number one is sort of your standard foot. It comes with uh, a 1D and a 1C. So there are times that you might not want dual feed. Um, but it's like the 1D is pretty much on my machines most of the time. I like dual feed for almost all of my general sewing, for garments, for quilts, for all of it. But this is a great foot. So these feet are shaped like a little bit of a wishbone. And then you can <laughs> see that that extra feed dog slots right into place there. So it's giving a grip on the top layer and the feed dogs on the bottom are working. This has a separate motor versus when I put my walking foot on and I attach it to this needle bar, then this is moving exactly in the same motion as my feed dogs. So the, the uh, dual feed it is operated by its own motor. So that's kind of technically the difference between them, um, but it is really a good foot for just general um, piecing, and uh, you know you can do some some quilting with it too. I think you get the best control, of course, when you're using the walking foot. So I'll just um, I love that there's so many different options for the dual feed uh, foot and more than what come with the machine already so that you can have dual feed and do different applications. That's well, something that other manufacturers do not have. And maybe we should talk a little bit about how the Bernina feet are made and how easy they are to install in the machine. Yeah, and I sometimes forget, I forget how easy we have it. <laughs> You're spoiled, Jamie. Yeah. Yes, I am. <laughs> so it's like, you know, like Barbara says, if you look at a Bernina presser foot, there are these kind of solid, heavy duty, 
um, presser feet. They're all like a full shank, all one piece. It's not the clip on soles um, for the most part. And they, they go on and off just with this little clamp back here at the back. So once you get dealt with it, you can do it just with one, one hand. It's awesome. No screwdrivers required. No screwdrivers required. <laughs> no fiddly little plastic part that breaks. Exactly. And I've, I've actually been to the Bernina factory where they make these feet in Switzerland. And it is amazing to see um, what's put into making these amazing presser feet. And I feel, I know that Bernina has the widest variety of presser feet out of any other manufacturer on yeah, the market. Yeah, for sure. I think we, we kind of have um, <laughs> writing on that legacy for a while. <laughs> Patty says, we are spoiled. <laughs> I agree, Patty. So, so one thing I was going to talk, talk about, about too is, is this presser foot pressure on the screen. And I can adjust the presser foot pressure um, if I notice, you know, the fabric, the top layer is shifting, I can, I can put actually less pressure on this. So you really can fine tune pretty much everything about this machine. Um, but let me just show you how that walking foot works. Go ahead and pull this foot off. And I love how it automatically raises the foot after you trim the thread. Again, we are spoiled. Yes, and this foot, the, uh, this machine has a feature called hover. So I don't know if you notice, like you can you can set that up in the setup menu. And when I, I can have this machine program, mine's programmed to stop with the needle down. So when I end the seam, it will put the needle down. If I have hover on, the presser foot will just kind of raise up a little bit, then I can pivot my fabric and turn. And that's really, Pretty awesome for quilting. Oh, Josie mentioned, I love the presser foot feature too. Uh, man, there's so many good things to say about this machine. The programmable foot control. Oh yes, you can program yeah. the, the foot <laughs> control to that, the, that back kick function. You can program it to do several different things um, to your specification. So if you want the hover on that part, um, you can have it so that when you rock back on the heel of the foot control, you can cut the thread, you can raise the foot. It, yeah. it is programmed already to do needle up, needle down generally. And just one more from Judy real quick. Um, she asked if there's a workbook for the different feet. Yes, Bernina makes a, a complete catalog called the Big Book of Feet. I highly recommend it. Uh, we have it in our stores um, or contact your closest Bernina dealer um, and definitely get that book. It is phenomenal. The Big yeah, the Book big, of Feet. The Big Book of Feet really breaks it all down. And we've got, like a, like we mentioned, there's several things on the We Also blog too that, that you can access and just kind of learn a lot about presser feet. That's always one of our main objectives is to, to show the different accessories there. Sorry, oh, I just get so excited, Jamie. I, I'll I'll keep you back on topic. I went down a few rabbit holes there. That's but all right. No, I'm, I'm, I'm realizing I changed my thread. I want to change the bobbin <laughs> thread too. Okay. I like to I like to quilt with a little bit thicker thread. So I had 28 weight thread in here, and um, I'm going to go more to a standard weight thread. This is the Mettler silk finish. And I think it's a 50 weight or 40 weight. And I like to piece with this and quilt with this thread too. So, all right, so let's give it a shot. So you can see the walking here, you can see those pads moving on my little quilt here as we move along. I love that quilt. It is so cute. And the little hot pad. Mm -hmm. This is from one of the videos that we have been working on that will be coming out um, shortly. We recreated a trivet that was done by one of our ambassadors and we used some of our Bernina feet. So I changed the um, stitch up here to a serpentine stitch, stitch number four, and I just lengthened the stitch. And actually the quilt that's on the back wall here, I quilted just with rows of that. And it's a really simple, effective way of quilting to give texture. 
Um, I actually taught this quilt to 12 year old girls and we did this in one week. We made the quilt and the top and quilted it and, and uh, you know, just keeping things simple and easy. But you can see with the walking foot and with dual feed, you can use some of your wider stitches. Yes, which is up to nine millimeters, right? Jamie, the the opening on that foot, I believe, is nine millimeters, which is larger than uh, the largest in the in the industry. The walking foot's five point five millimeters. If you wanted oh, the wider, that would be a reason to maybe use the dual feed. Is that this is a nine millimeter machine, but the walking yes. foot that we have is only five point five millimeters. So it's like if you want that nine millimeter stitch, then you would use your dual feed foot, and you could go a little wider um on that but yes good good observation <laughs> thanks for correcting me yeah, no, um, no, no, so no we do have a question tony says should you use this for piecing do i use what do you use the walking foot for piecing is what tony is asking i generally don't i i like a good quarter inch foot this this number 37 is a quarter inch foot with dual feed is really nice they make one for the nine millimeter machines too. I have some various machines. And so the nine millimeter um, dual feed foot is 97 and it covers the feed dogs a little bit better. But sometimes you, you could piece with the walking foot. It's just a little bit overkill because it's pretty wide and usually you're trying to do a quarter inch seam. Yeah. So, and you only have two pieces of material together. It's not like you're working with like a b backing and batting and top fabric all together that you're trying to feed at the same rate and not have any shift. There is, there is, I mean, this is not our topic of the day per se, but I do love using the walking foot for sewing knit with, so if you're making a t-shirt on your sewing machine, of course I am fully converted to using my serger for all almost all t-shirt construction at this point. I very rarely use a sewing machine, but if you only had a sewing machine, you want to make a t-shirt. Using this walking foot for your seams is great because knit fabric stretches as you sew it and you can actually really control that stretch by using the walking foot and those having those pads of that foot move along. Debbie Stein says, I use the dual 97 foot for piecing, it's wonderful. Thanks, Debbie. Yeah, the 97 foot's relatively speaking is a relatively new foot. So I think I ended up with a 37D because I probably had this before the 97D came out. Um, but there's so many, so many versions of quarter inch presser feet and options. So you can get this foot with dual feed, you can get this foot without dual feed. Um, you know, you can get a 57 that's got a guide on the side. Um, yeah, there's a lot of versions and variations of that quarter inch patchwork foot. Um, so yeah, I think we have another video that shows some basic walking foot quilting, sort of like what I was just doing. So let's go ahead and play the walking foot video. To create. Oh my gosh, I love that. You know, we just got a comment from Linda that says, I love my Bernina. I have two 830s, one to 200. Bernina is the best machine on the market, in my opinion. Hey, Linda, and it's so good to see you again. 
And we we love that. hearing that, Linda. Thanks for being a loyal customer and buying multiple machines. That's usually the case. You can't have just one. So that's nice. With this package, you get you can get more than one straight out of the gate. I know. Buy one machine, get one free, guys. We'll be telling you more about that at the end. I'm just going on autopilot right now. I'm so excited about the next <laughs> step. So this is a really like a really unusual, unconventional foot. Um, also on promo this month. So we have a national promo going on where you can buy this weird little wheel <laughs> leather roller foot number 55. And it is, it's kind of unique and doesn't look like any other presser foot really. Right. So um, I remember when I first saw this, I was like, what in the world is that for? But it's really cool because it works with the feed dog and it just uses the left side, but that is what's controlling your stitch. But then it just allows you to kind of curve and almost, you know, like steer. You can, you turn really tight corners with this. And this foot was designed with the idea of making leather gloves. Not, not like my little grabber roos here, but it's like you can see these tight little corners and things that you would have to sew to make leather gloves. Um, this is what basically why this was invented. And I have a friend who was making shoes. She has a sewing machine that really is just a sewing machine with this so that she could sew the like little leather toes of shoes and do. We uh, sell a lot of industrial machines, like the roller machines like that. So that's yeah. amazing that you could get that. Normally you would have to purchase an industrial machine to have that feature. That's right. great that Bernina has that foot. And, and it works pretty well. I mean, you can make jumbo piping with this. So you can have like a really thick piece of cording right up against this because we can move our needle position. So you see my needle is moving now. I'm going to move it all the way up to that side there. And the machine recognizes, you know, that I have a foot on it that is a 5.5 millimeter. So it's only going to let that needle move so close. Um, because it can read, can basically read the eye of the presser feet and kind of identify if it's a D foot, a C foot, or just a, a standard foot. Um, but this one's really fun for making and turning curves. So I'll show you and then we'll, whoops, I'll show you and then we'll play the video. It's, it's hey. really is this is such a unique experience. And it looks like Linda is, uh, again, in the comments, she has this foot and she says it's great for doing circles. So yes, I yeah, agree. Yeah, if you were just doing like a radial circle or whatever, it's good. But it's like, you can also, you know, it, it feeds through pretty evenly. I don't have my hands on here right now and it's just moving through like a regular foot would. But you can see that you can literally turn things completely around and you can get these tight little curves and shapes like you would be doing if you were free motioning. But instead of having the fear of the free motion without the feed dogs, I'm using the feed dogs to move my fabric. It's like and free motion with a training wheel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a really unique experience. It's a fun foot. foot, definitely worth buying when it's on promo. So now is the time to get it. Yeah. So everybody, we have 25% off on this foot right now for the month of May. This is the foot of the month. It is the leather roller foot number 55. So uh, we actually have this coupon in our swag bag. If you pre-registered, if you haven't pre-registered yet, Go ahead and register now and you'll get the link to that swag bag to get this coupon to bring into an all brands location and take advantage of this, uh, this amazing sale on this foot. Yeah. And let's go ahead and, and watch the latest video. This is, I think this one just released this past week. So maybe you've seen it on Bernina.com because it's relatively new um, on the leather roller foot.
Wow. Yay. Can you hear me? I think I lost volume. Okay. okay, can you hear me now? All right, she's back. <laughs> New technology, it's not made by Vernina. <laughs> Technical difficulties with this uh, little microphone here, but we're back, we're back on track. Look at everybody says, let's see, we got some questions now. Yeah, great. Okay, so Leslie is asking a really good question. Um, I signed up in advance, how do I access my swag bag? So you should have gotten an email uh, if you registered in advance and there is a, um, a link in there with a swag bag that you can uh, click on. If you didn't get that yet though, there is a, uh, a link in the description of this video that you can click and it will take you to the registration page. And then upon registration, it will give you the link to this video and the swag bag. And in the swag bag, it's going to give you all of the specials that we have going on today and more. You have a free downloadable design courtesy of OESD, and that's actually a quilting in the hoop design that they made. Um, are you familiar with that, Jamie? Yeah, I mean, it's like, and that's the thing, it's like, we're really not highlighting the embroidery capabilities of the 790 today, but there's so many amazing things you can do with embroidery and kind of like the serger, I'm excited, of course, the serging is kind of <laughs> where I've spent my brain the last few years, but it, there's a lot of ways you can use the serger and embroidery machine for quilting. And, and we have um, Connie Fanders, who's been doing a series recently of webinars on quilting using your computerized domestic machine. So it's like a fancy way of saying, you know, quilting with an embroidery module, um, but you can bring in those designs and you can put them on quilt blocks and you can use your pinpoint placement features and you can align things exactly perfect. And yeah, so there's a lot of potential and possibilities there too. Barbara, do we lose your mic again? Okay. All go. right. Can you hear me now? You're back. Uh, Turn the mic back on. Your, your mic. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. I'm sorry about that. Oh. Out in the hoop quilting um, with your embroidery machine. It's totally possible and awesome. I love it. The so, 790 comes with several hoops, but it, you can get a maxi hoop that's a little bit bigger. So that's an accessory that you can buy. And that's a really nice hoop because you can use that full 10 inches of space that's on the throat of the 790 for big, big hooped designs. Yeah. All right. Can you still hear me now? Yes. Oh, good, good, good. All right, Kelly, if you could just see if we have any questions in the comments. And guys, don't forget, I we have a giveaway coming up now. So um, be sure to make some comments, like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be picking a winner for a $25 allbrands.com e-gift card right now. <laughs> That's just one of the many that we're going to be giving away during this live event. So um, do we have any questions, Callie? No? Is there a trick to get the serpentine stitches lined up to echo the same wave? So I know what you're saying, Cindy, with that question. And so there's a feature on the Bergina called Pattern End and pattern begin. So this is a little bit tricky, but if you, when you're doing that stitch, just keep your settings the same and try to make a starting line so that you're starting kind of at the same point. 
and you can do that pattern begin and that will start you exactly at that stitch sequence. So a serpentine stitch, I think is probably maybe six stitches or so it's like three and then it kind of curves and goes back three. So the whole sequence of the stitch is six stitches. So if you do that pattern begin function, um, you should be able to kind of get those more parallel um, rows together. But I like to just embrace the, the random nature of it. It's a little less stressful quilting, I guess. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. And that's such a cool foot. And it's so like the story behind it. I think I heard Sylvain tell a story about how it was made for a French glove factory. For <laughs> that's the leather roller foot. Yes. He, small hands. He, he has written the tutorial to go along with that video that we just played. And so he, so his story that he hears, and sometimes Sylvain and I have different stories that we've heard. He's he's kind of the Bernina history nerd, so I usually get trumped, I think, by his 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 expertise or story. So he heard women's gloves, like delicate, like women's gloves. I heard like leather racing gloves, like for race car driving. So I think you know it's just like whatever way you want to take it. But leather leather gloves, tight cur tur turns, yes. Oh my goodness. And I just got to say, I am so happy to see everyone in the comments. We are getting so much support right now. What a great community that we're in. Everyone says is commenting how much they love their Bernina machines and how uh, grateful they are that we got together just to hang out today and talk about what we love, you know? <laughs> yeah. And Thank I you. appreciate seeing the love for the videos too. We, I mean, that's a fun project that we work on with our marketing department at Bernina. So it's a lot of creativity and, um, you know, they're just sort of fun to make. So yes, they're only 60 seconds on Instagram and Facebook, but there's a lot more that goes behind them. Um, so just knowing that each, each time you see something like that in your social media feed, there usually is corresponding, um, blog information written by a Bernina educator that will give you more details. So we, we love to teach and uh, hope that you can get inspired that way. I think I've lost your audio again. Can you hear me again? Yes. yes. Ah, goodness, sorry. I was just saying, you guys have the best education online through We Also Blog. So if anybody's wanting more education, definitely bookmark, highlight, save, uh, click and drag it to your desktop, uh, www.wealso.com. It's a phenomenal website. So let's uh, do another uh, giveaway. So I have a random name that we're going to pull up on the screen. And this person is going to win a $25 allbrands.com e-gift card. And drum roll, please. Georgiana Green, congratulations. Please email me at events at allbrands.com and I will get that uh, e-gift card emailed out to you. And uh, that's gonna be so, so exciting. So guys, we have this Bernina machine in stock, the B790. <laughs> Can you hear me now? All right, we have six, a quantity of six currently only of these B790Es ever since the mask making and the, the run on uh, machines. Um, the industry as a whole, it's just been tough to get inventory um, to supply because the factories are just working at maximum capacity trying to get all of these machines together for customers. So we do have this machine in stock. Chargers, that's the optional purchase with the machine. And thanks guys for um, putting up with my mic going in and out. All right, Jamie, back to you. Okay, so our machine looks a little different now. We're over here at the L460. 
And this is the machine. When I came on board, I, I worked at a Bernina dealer for about seven years. And then I started working at Bernina corporate with the launch of this series of overlockers. And so I've got a lot of knowledge on it and have worked pretty intimately with this one. And then of course the development, if you've seen our new um, air threading sergers, that's been a big project of mine too. But I love using the serger for quilting also. And I think sometimes quilters are like, well, this is for garment sewing. I don't know how I would use it or why I would need it. But just even the simple fact of finishing an edge of a fabric. I'm going to sew through two layers here just because I've got a four thread overlock in. But if you are going to pre-wash your fabric, so do we have any pre-wash uh, people who pre-wash their fabric before starting their quilts? If you finish your edges, I'll wait till I'm done here. If you finish your edges with an overlock, it's trimming and it's neatening this edge as it goes. You can then put your woven fabrics that fray into the washing machine, wash them and um, dry them and they don't come out in like a big wad of, of um, tangled um, frayed edge of the fabric. So that's first and foremost, just one of the ways that you can start with using an overlock. And then, of course, you could do some of your basic piecing. So I've just got kind of this little sampler uh, panel that I've cut up here. But you can set this machine. So you've got cutting width, which is sort of like stitch width on an overlocker. And you can, you've got two needles that you can use that hold the loops at the edge. So it's an extra strong seam. Or you could just do one needle. So it's kind of up to you whether or not you want to seam with four threads, or if you'd rather seam with three threads, but you can do some really nice piecing, I think, and get a pretty good quarter inch seam. So I know that like probably a quarter inch is between five and six, really. And so you could do your basic piecing, especially on something that is using rectangular type shapes together pretty easily. And the nice thing is, is like you can get scrappy with it. You can be very improvisational with a serger because it's trimming the edge as you go. So your basic quilt piecing. Then the nice thing about something like this is that now the back side of your quilt top would be just as tidy as the top. You're not gonna have that frayed edge either. So this is really kind of like, if you're looking for a speed project, you, you know, you can um, use your overlocker for seaming. I don't know if there's any comments or if anybody uses their, their overlocker that way, but um, I really think it's a lot of fun. Um, Another thing that you can do is a kind of this method that's called quilt as you go. I'm gonna see if I've got, I might need to grab some scissors. So Jamie, can you hear yes. me now? I can hear you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you know, it's uh, so cute because Bonnie in the comments said, yeah, it's a drool item. <laughs> it it is a drool item, but it's really like right now you can get this as one of your, your you could choose this as the item to go with your 790. Um. Okay, so we did get a question from Gert. Uh, if there are curved sections in a quilt block, can they be stitched on an overlocker? That's a very good question. That is a good question. And it's like, you know, you, I mean, for your precision things and your curved things, this is really not the ideal, the ideal tool. Um, it really is going to be better to do your, um, your basically your rectangular shapes and things. It's, it's a little hard. It's a little harder to be precise. Like you can be precise. I think you could do some curved piecing, but the thing is because it's cutting 
and sewing at the same time, like you get one shot to get that right. Because if you make a mistake, you're sort of at the mercy of the machine also, if that yeah. uh, makes sense. I, I don't want to make it sound super intimidating, but, um, but that's, uh, that's, that it is limited what you, what you should piece on a, a, a serger. Okay, so. All right, so I got my batteries replaced in my uh, microphone, Jamie. So I oh, think I'm good to go. <laughs> I'm glad it was your microphone and not mine. I was, oh, I'm thanks. A new, thanks a lot. I'm using a new microphone, and so I've been paranoid about that all day because I'm just like, I don't know how long this lasts. I've not used this one before. <laughs> Hey, you know. we have a, um, a question from Heather again, uh, and this is a good question just from sur for sergers in general, not just for quilting, but if you make a mistake on a serger, it's pretty easy to, to undo the stitches. Um, I'm not a fan of the seam ripper on a sewing stitch, but I definitely enjoy pulling out a serger stitch. It's a lot easier. It is a little easier because you can get those loopers and then once you've gotten those out of there, it's, it's, it's much easier to then pull the needle threads out. Um, so, you know, it is, it is like everything. You learn the technique and then you're, you're, you're golden. Um, one thing that I think is kind of fun is this, this quilt as you go method. So this could use a lot of your scrap batting that, you know, like when you make a quilt and then you've quilted it, you always end up with these like long six inch, like, border pieces that come off the edges. And if you save those in some of your scrap fabrics, you can do this sort of stitch, flip, continue to build kind of um, style of, of um, using those batting scraps, those thin batting scraps. So I've just taken one here and I'm gonna kind of just put this together. So my, um, it's like a little quilt sandwich. And then the way you would build this is you would take right sides down for the next piece that you wanted to add with the batting. And then you need to put whatever's gonna be the backing for that one on the back. So you've got right sides together here. So I'm sewing, look at all those layers that I'm sewing. And this is the wow. thing that's like kind of awesome about, about a serger. This one also has presser foot pressure, but it's just gonna, it's just gonna trim all that up and take all those layers, like no big, no big deal. I love this serger. I love the knee lifter. I love the micro thread control. I love the quality of the stitch. I love how it turns easily. I love the sound of it. And doesn't it have an extension table as well? Yeah, this one, I've got the extension table on. So this comes off, you you know, release back here. And this, this 460, I, I like all the features that you just listed, Barbara, is really good. It's like, so it, it has a DC motor. And that's why I think it sounds so quiet. It also feels a lot more like your sewing machine. So it's not just like you press on the foot control and you're going 100 miles an hour. You can actually have a little bit of that stitch by stitch control um, with this machine because of that DC motor. It also has the, I think I can probably show you, it has the same foot control as our sewing machine. So actually, like if I rock back on the heel of the foot control. You can see the needles on the serger will take a half step from wherever I'm at. So that's, if you're a Bernina user, to me, that's kind of a big, a big deal. And it's kind of a game changer to have that on an overlocker. The other thing is we've got the freehand system. So if you see I'm rocking over, I'm actually using my hand because I'm sitting at kind of an awkward spot, but I'm using the freehand system to raise and lower the presser foot. So then for my next seam, I could just go right up here and uh, place it underneath. But back to my like little quilt as you go idea. So it's like, so here's the back of my, now obviously I need more fabric to cover this, but I can continue building in this method, but I've got the batting scraps used up in those little sandwiches. And I can just kind of keep building improvisationally in that method. And you know, you want to press probably as you go, but, uh, you can kind of get the idea. I'll do one more little row here. So you can just get the idea of this concept because it's pretty fun. Um, hey, I think we have some more sewing nerds in the in the comments like us, Jamie. Okay, Josie sews. Um, says, um, 
that the DC is great because it keeps the same power no matter how thick uh, the fabric you have. Um, yes, it's that really strong piercing power that you get. It doesn't, <laughs> I like that. Uh, bog, it doesn't bog down. Yes. And I know that the uh, the step ups from this, the new L8 series, the air threading sergers have the free arm. Um, I can't remember if this one does or not. We had this, a question. This about one that. does not have a free arm. <laughs> Josie says yes, nerd. Thanks. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only one. All right, so you could see how you could just keep kind of building a quilt structure, you know, using up some of your scrap batting in that method. And I've made, I mean, this it's a good thing. I mean, sometimes you have to kind of plan it out so that you can always be adding to like a central piece. But I've made some really um, basic baby quilts that way. And like, it's good. I made a machine cover. One of the trainings that I did for the Bernina dealers was an actual machine cover for this machine. And we did the kind of stitch and flip quilt as you go method to make the front panel it had a little Swiss cross. And then we did the back just with stripes. And so it was a really easy way to see how that concept worked. But was there a question or was that just an echo? Um, no, we don't have any questions. Uh, I think we're good on that. Yeah. I love and, this. Um, so I was going to say too, that it's like, I talked about edge finishing for pre-washing, but if you make a quilt top and just, you do all your piecing and all of that and say you send it to a long armor, um, you know, you can just finish the edges of that quilt top before you give it to your long armor and it preserves that fabric edge a little longer. So that's the same thing. Just do a three thread overlock, just encase that edge with a nice stitch. But I also like to do it, like if I'm gonna do binding by machine or by hand, I like to be able to use the overlocker to just square up my piece. So I'm gonna take my little trivet um, block here and I haven't trimmed anything, but I'm just gonna use the knife and the presser foot actually has marks on it. So you can see where the needles would go. So if I really needed to straighten something, I could draw a line and then I could follow the marks of the needles that I'm using here. Everyone says that they love quilt as you go in the comments. They love the what? Quilt as you go. Oh yeah, I'm glad you could, <laughs> could get that concept. I actually realized that I used the fabrics that I wanted to use for that, the first thing I was showing. And so I made <laughs> a little mistake, but it is a really great, it's a really great way to use scraps, especially that scrap batting. I love how quiet this machine is. So this is one of the options if you purchase the B790E Plus from all brands for the month of May, um, you get to choose between a sewing machine or this serger or the full digitizing software. So you get to build your own dream studio. Yep. And I mean, you can see just, I mean, maybe you can see, hopefully you can see, I use really light colored thread. I probably should have put dark in there, but you can see how nice and tidy that edge is. And actually like at this, this cutting width, it's almost perfect. Like if I stitched my binding on my machine, then when I go to hand stitch it to the back, I, I can actually see the rows of uh, surging there that I can kind of match up and I get really, I get really nice looking binding that way. Um, you know, and it's it's clean and tidy and uh, it's a fun machine to use. So I want to show a video that shows using it to actually put the binding on. So we'll, we'll play that video and then I'll show you that in real life. Great.
So I think I, I got out of order, but that was that was something I forgot to show you is flat locking. And so flat locking is a special stitch that you can do. And I'm taking out a needle right now so I can show you the flat lock. Um, but a flat lock stitch is basically, so an overlock stitch is a balanced stitch. It's where the loopers are balanced with each other at the edge and the needles are holding everything into place. And then a flat lock is when things are kind of out of balance and you pull them apart one fabric can lay on top of the other fabric. And so I'm gonna just set the machine up for that. And um, a good time to kind of show that like all the tools are right here that I need. So I just took the needle out. There's a holder tool, a little screwdriver to help loosen it. There's storage for needles in the machine. There's a lot of, a lot of great features on this. The threading chart is right here too. It's super easy to thread, it's very open. So no need to be intimidated by that. Um, but I'm just using a right needle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, basically loosen my needle tension, which is this one. And then I'm going to tighten up my lower looper tension. And my upper looper is still in here. You can do two thread flat locks as well. But that blanket that we just showed was constructed um, because it's reversible. So there's two sides to this stitch. I've got a pillow sitting back here too. So there's a, a part of the stitch that looks like a ladder. And then there's a part that looks like loops. And so if I put these right sides together, the loop will appear on the back side, And then when I pull these apart, you'll see the ladder side on the top. So let's see. And that micro thread control that um, Barbara was talking about moves the stitch finger and that's what holds the loops to the edge. So I'm just moving that out a little bit so I have more space to pull these apart. I love the micro thread control feature. It's, it moves the stitch finger independently of the knife, which helps you to perfect how the um, loopers go around the fabric and it, it's just such a nice feature. I don't know if you can see when I pull that apart, you know, you'll start to see those ladder stitches. And so this is just a, a really kind of fun way to make patchwork on an overlocker because now one fabric is laying on top of the other. If you have nice fabrics like those flannels that Haley used in that blanket that we just showed, you can do that. And then um, I use this technique also to make a t-shirt quilt. Um, I, I love the overlocker for sewing knits because it has a feature called differential feed, which is over here on the right hand side. There's two sets of feed dogs on this machine. So it's basically when you're changing differential feed, you're changing the rate at which those feed dogs move to one another. So you can work with stretchy fabrics like knit really easily. So you don't have to interface and do all that stuff. You can just kind of take your knit, piece them together and, um, I did this, this t-shirt blanket um, out of baseball t-shirts and used this flat lock stitch. So let's take a look at that video. Bernina, made to create. Wow, that is so fantastic. Oh my goodness. And I never thought to do the t-shirt quilts on a serger. Yeah, and that, that particular project, the way that the you can find the directions for that on the We Also blog, and it's really like if there's purest quilters out there, there is not batting. No, there is not batting in that. I just put fleece on the back of the t-shirt. So 
technically, I guess we could call it a blanket, but uh, to me, it was just a simple way of, of using t-shirts. And then I put the fleece. And then at the very end of that video, what I was doing was setting the machine up for what is called a two thread wrapped stitch. And so instead of putting binding on it at all, I just used a really fluffy texturized thread to just finish the edge, edges of those um, t-shirts on top of the fleece together. And then I added the buttons so that it basically was attached at various points in the middle so that it wasn't like a, you know, an empty pillow. Um, but it's like, it's, it was just a fast way of making a, a quick t-shirt throw blanket. And I actually really like that. I still have that project <laughs> and it's like, it's, it's very soft and very cozy and it's perfect for outside. And um, yeah. Yeah. Hey, Jamie, we actually have some pictures that you sent in that we can put on the screen if that's okay with you. Yeah, that, that would be great. All right. So this is, oh my goodness, that turned out wonderful. Yeah. So you can see, I used the backs of the quilts in there too. It's just kind of have to, you have to make a little bit of a plan on how you're going to put it together because you're sewing straight rows. And so I kind of had planned it out in sections and then sewed it together. But uh, yeah, it's a, it's, it's a fun, different way of, of doing a quilt project. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at that binding video that I re referenced earlier. And then I'll show you how to do binding on the overlocker. This is the game changer, guys. I love binding on the serger. You're really going to enjoy this. Bernina, made to create. I wish the machine played that music when it bound <laughs> stitches. <laughs> it's very jazzy. We, I yes. mean, we just need our very own jazz club as we as we do binding <laughs> always. Um, but yeah, no, I think there's not there's not a ton of difference in concept in terms of how you would do this on a sewing machine. It's like I always start with a tail. And it's like, and then you do have to kind of know where your needles are. Now I've gone down just to my right needle. I have put my tensions back for a normal stitch here and I've made my width wide because I only have that right needle. I'm hoping that it's gonna cover my edge here, which it should, maybe if I go a little bit wider, but I wanna start with a tail behind so that when I come back around, I've got something to tuck it into. Um, and then, you know, it's like, I'm not gonna join like I would maybe if I was doing a real um, precious quilt, you know, where I'd come back and maybe sew the seam together, but I'm just going to do a real easy tuck and then surge over. And then you would roll it to the back and, um, hand stitch it down or stitch it by machine. So there is another part to the process. Now, if you know, there are some fusible threads. So here's kind of a hot tip is that because the looper puts so much thread on here as it sews, you could actually put that fusible thread in your loopers. And then it, as you heat it, it will melt into glue. So Mind it, blown. Yes. What a great suggestion. Yes, I will tell you that is a fast way of uh, binding something if you need like a sample for, for a class or, or whatever. But it's like most of those glue, like those threads do become a glue. So once you've melted it into glue, then you've lost some of the structure of your stitch. So you need to, if you're going to keep it permanently, you need to then go back and stitch it, you know, with your sewing machine. But it is a fast way of like binding something um, in a pinch. And it, it will last a while before it just like, you know, totally melts away. But anyway, so I'm going to start with about a six inch tail back here. And I'm gonna just kind of butt up my binding edge to my cutting knife, which is right here. 
and um, that I'm going to start sewing down until I come to. Now, this is already surged, so I have a visual line here. But on this machine, I know kind of where, where it is, so I can visualize that quarter of an inch. But I like to stop about a quarter of an inch from the end. And then, because this machine you can sew off of fabric, I'm just going to make a loop. So you'll see what I do when I come to this corner. Okay, so now right here, I'm about a quarter of an inch from the edge. So I can just veer off and keep chaining. I got a little bit of my thread trimmings there. And then you're going to do your 45 miters. So it's like, I'm gonna fold this 45 degrees back, or I guess that's actually a 90 degree, right? But it's gonna make my 45 degree miter, miter just like I would on the sewing machine. And it's still, the thread is still attached. And then I'm just going to turn this and place that right up, same spot, right up against that knife and keep going. And if you missed this for some reason, it's not the end of the world if you if you miss that quarter of an inch, but it just makes that miter a little bit more precise. And super secure as well. It's so nice to then hand stitch also because everything's finished. <laughs> Patricia says, I need to try binding with my surgery. You make it look so easy. I think the, the machine helps. <laughs> yeah. I've had a little practice and it's like, it's not, it's not too hard. If you, I promise if you've done it on a sewing machine, see here, I overshot my corner a little bit. So like I can kind of pull out those threads and then get it right back where I want it. But yeah, it's if, if you've done it on a sewing machine, it's the concept's not really any different. It's just it's just getting acquainted with your serger and uh, being comfortable with it trimming while you're doing it. Carolyn says you do make it look very easy. Well, this that stitch, stitch by stitch so I can slow down there at the end is really nice. It's very clean. <laughs> All right, so I need to I'll I'll use the machine to help me hold the the fabric and then I can kind of gauge like this is my like quick method. I'll just cut that thread tail and then tuck it into that opening. And this is where you kind of have to pull a little bit of, pull it taut so that you don't get a little pucker. And then just right off, so now all I need to do is just give it a press and press it to the back and stitch it down by my favorite method. It and it's consistently it's cut all the way around. Yes. I mean, you have to watch your line. If you're veering, Barbara, if you're like kind of crooked sewing, you're going to know. So yeah. that's, the, that's the risk that you take. So I think small projects, pretty easy to do this. Like, I don't know that I would come over to this with a king size quilt. But, uh, but I would definitely do a baby quilt. I, I probably, I actually have done baby quilts, I know. And then I, you know, like even a full size quilt or queen size quilt, maybe I would do that. But um, yeah, it's just, you know, you got to just be confident in how you move the fabric here. But the markings are all on the foot too. So if you draw yourself a line, that's, that's one way to make it easy. So. 
Josie Sows in the comments said, see, this is why I love all brands tutorials, but Josie, I cannot take credit for this. I <laughs> am so inspired by Jamie and the team at Bernina that write the We Also blog tutorials. They are such an inspiration every day and they have so much content to go on. And that's why I, I asked Jamie very nicely to come on the show because we just, we love you very much. Well, that, that is very nice. And I hope that you guys are inspired to give the serger a try. It's really, like I said, I mean, I'm, I know I'm biased because it's been my baby, but, <laughs> but uh, it is, it is, it does make quick work of things and it gives you a few more advantages. So, all right. Should we do another giveaway? I think, yes, we should do another giveaway and yes. All right. So Callie, if you could choose a random watcher and we'll have a, this is going to be a $25 allbrands.com e-gift card. And we're going to do a drum roll, please. And Yvonne, that's my sister's name. I love that. Congratulations. Please email me at events at allbrands.com to claim your prize. And we have more prizes to come. So if you haven't liked, comment, liked us, commented to us, uh, shared or subscribed, please do that now because that enters you for the grand prize at the end of this broadcast. So let's bring back Jamie. She is back at her sewing machine, the Bernina B790. E plus sewing, quilting, and embroidery machine. The best machine, I think, for quilting on the market and on special now. So yeah, and I, I think the the way to end is to show the binding options um, with the binder attachments. And so this is a really, a really fun um, accessory that you can get for any of your Berninas. And we've got actually, it's kind of confusing because we have six of them. So we have three that are, that use double or the pre-folded binding. And then we have three that use just a, basically a strip of bias cut binding. So you can see how- <laughs> Bernina has so many good, except they have the most accessories of any manufacturer. They have all the goodies that you would ever need. Yes. And so this is a binder. This is the number 87 binder. And this is the biggest one. Um, this is a 25 millimeter. And I, this is my favorite. Um, everybody, every educator has a different favorite probably, but this is my favorite for quilts because it, um, it's, it's a little thicker how it puts it on. And it's, it's a pretty fun, um, a fun application and I there's a really cute video so let's play the video I will put this on the machine while the video plays and then we'll come back for a live demo Bernina, made to create. Okay, so you saw my cute little binding buddy. So here she is. She's making oh. a special guest appearance today. And, uh, what, what's her name? <laughs> I, don't, I haven't given her a name. I Maybe I should name her after you, Barbara. Oh my goodness, I would be honored. <laughs> so it's Barbara. I think it, it, it suits her. It's Barbara the Spinning Binding Buddy. So th this is... <laughs> This is made by, I think it's Doohickey 
designs or something like that. So I don't know if you have these in your stores, but it's so adorable. Um, usually it's just hanging out in my sewing room. Um, but she, she can live up here on my secondary spool holder and hold my binding. So I had to make the binding. This is the drawback to the 87 is that you have to pre-press your binding. So I made this, this is the biggest one. So I cut a two inch strip and then I had one of those clover binder kind of things that pulls it through. And then I pressed it with a little bit of starch. So it's nice and crisp and then cut it at an angle so that you can feed it through this binder. Um, pretty much all binders that I've used work like this. Um, the trick is getting it started, right? So this little tool too is pretty great. It's a, just a, like a stiletto, but it's got a Teflon sole. So if you're ironing something too, you can iron up against that and it doesn't melt or burn your fingers. But basically I've got this loaded now. And I'm just gonna put it underneath here and then lower the presser foot. And then I just need to adjust my needle position. My needle position is still at negative five from using my leather roller foot. So I'm just gonna move it over a little bit. And I usually like to sew this for a little ways to make sure that I like where it's landing. I've got really dark thread on this. Normally I probably wouldn't do that, but you guys will be able to see it pretty well. And then I'm just going to pick a place to start. Now it would probably be like in real life, like easier to start somewhere in the middle of a quilt, kind of like what I did with the binding on the serger. But I'm gonna just do this like it would be a pot holder. So I'm gonna start here on the corner and then, then I can also kind of hide that tail. So when I come back around, but I'm gonna just start here and position my quilt. Now everything finished with that serge edge makes it really easy to put into these binders too. So that that's one trick when using the binders is to finish the edge. And Barbara's spinning, giving me more binding. And then you wanna stop about a quarter of an inch from the end. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a back stitch to secure and cut. Okay, now here's the tricky part, right? The thing that everybody needs to learn. Because this is hinged, I can then pull this out a little bit and I can just manually make that miter. And so I'm just using my binding that's there and these long, Flathead pins, I think, work pretty well for this. So I'm gonna pin that in place. And then I'm going to put that back up. So I need to just pull that back into the binder. I'm gonna put this underneath the machine. Tweezers are, are also a pretty helpful thing to have right here, but I'm gonna just put my foot down, pull things back into place lower my needle. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get that pin out of there now. Oh, thank you, Kimberly. She says, I'm so happy to get to learn about Bernina machines. Well, if you aren't acquainted with them, they're amazing, as you can see. Uh, we do have a question from Gladys in the comments. She asked, yeah. how wide is it? How what? How wide is the binder? So this one will finish with a Sorry here, I'll, I think it is a half, it's like about a half an inch is what it finishes with. This is where I'm gonna have, I'm gonna consult my big book of feet right now because, because there's a chart in here that tells so me helpful. exactly what it is. When there's six of them, it's really hard to remember. Um, but I'm pretty sure that that one, that 87, binder number 87, that's 25 millimeters. My bias tape when I cut it is two inches and then I make it, it's one inches. And, or one inch, and then it finishes with a half inch binding. And Perfect. the there's a 20 millimeter that would have, once it's made, the bias tape would be three quarters. So you would cut that um, at one and a half. And that one, when it goes through the binder and sews on, finishes at three eighths. And then there's a 13 millimeter that finishes at one quarter inch. So I think 
I'll keep kind of going around my corner here as long as I'm not stuck back here. And I might be. I like how I have all the blooper reels today. <laughs> so, let me get a little more on my feed dog back there. There we go. Bobby Joe must have this foot because she says, um, I love this binding foot. It makes binding so easy. Yeah, I tend to like um, having the wider one because it's like it, I think it gives it gives me uh, good coverage there on the edges. Um, I went just a little too long on that one. I'm, I'm sewing at such an odd angle. I think that's I know. <laughs> it's, it's like it's a struggle doing a live nerves, um, with the camera nerves, between yeah. you and the machine. <laughs> I know this firsthand. Nerves and then sitting, you know, sitting about six inches or so off center. <laughs> Normally I do pretty good at sewing, sewing on weird angles, but I also have the, um, the beauty of movie magic. <laughs> this is so easy. I love the different ways of doing binding. It's just phenomenal. Okay, now I'm gonna hit the reverse this time instead of the thread cutter, there we go. Okay, I'm on my final corner here. I'm just going rogue without my pen. Since I'm not making a masterpiece, I might be making a mess, but let's see. All accessory down. All right. Now, if it's a hot pad or something like that, you can just chain off and make a loop that you can then come back and like attach. And so that's why I chose these. But if you were going to finish something, you know, you can you can basically you have to plan and then fold over like a little edge to glue. Or when I use this for quilts, I usually leave myself a long tail on either side, and then I just I come back and do that more manually so it looks good. And you can also program in the foot control to trim the threads um, at the end of your or needle up and down. There's just so many options with the foot control. But see, yeah, I could come back here with a little um, button and just do that. And then I've got my binding stitched on the front and the back. I um, love it. Yay. <laughs> Guys, so, so what do you think about this machine? Isn't it amazing? To let us know in the comments. And I actually have one here set up. Um, yeah. And I'm going to show everyone all of the accessories that you get just with the machine, not um, not in including the special that we're going to talk about in a minute. But this machine comes with tons and tons of accessories just in the box from the manufacturer. So 11 presser feet, and these are the full shank presser feet made by Bernina, no screwdriver required, easy on, easy off. Um, just phenomenal, phenomenal feet. So I'll just go through each one of these. So the first one we have is the one that comes on the machine. That's your standard presser foot, the uh, 1C. Then you have a reverse pattern foot 1D. And I'll try to get close to the camera so that you can see these feet because uh, they're phenomenal. Do you see this opening in the back? That's where your dual feet goes. And they're all conveniently labeled on the front for easy access. All right, and then you get the overlock number 2A. That's a really interesting foot because I just showed you what is called the overlocker or a serger. You know, two, two names for the same machine. But that, that little foot there is basically, that's what you use with this a few stitches, there's a few stitches on the sewing machine to finish the edges, edges if you didn't have an overlocker. So it's kind of trying to imitate 
an overlock stitch. And then the amazing buttonhole foot. Automatic. Automatic, baby. Yeah. That's a good one. <laughs> All right, here's another dual feed foot. This is the 4D, which is the zipper foot. Uh, so it's zipper foot integrated with dual feed. Oops, I pushed a button. <laughs> it's kind of life changing actually to have dual feed on a zipper foot because zippers, you know, are always so squirrely. You know, it's like usually I was using wonder tape and stuff like that to hold them in place while I sewed them. Um, but dual feed makes it, it's so much easier. Such a great foot to have. And then there's also in a lot of these feet, there's the little hole in the back where you could put the guide. And there's that screw that falls off and then everybody is like panicked because they're like, oh my gosh, I was sewing and all of a sudden I have the screw. Where did it come from? It's, <laughs> it's from the back, back of your foot. Feet. <laughs> all right, so we have uh, foot number five, which is the blind hem foot. This is a must have, a must have foot here. And these are them. full shank metal feet. They last this. forever really nice edge stitching with that too. So there is an edge, sti edge stitch foot number 10 and it comes with dual feed and stuff like that. But the blind stitch foot in a pinch can do nice edge stitching. So you can move your needle position and then you can just have that perfect little eighth inch stitch at the edge. So this one's called the jeans foot, but I would actually use this one for maybe um, straight stitch, right? With the dual feed. Yep. I love this little open section in the front. They think of everything. So well thought out in the guide on the back for the, um, for the guide. It's made then, to climb thick and thin. So it goes over those seams that you would find in uh, bulky seams at the edge of a pant leg. Um, and it holds the needle really straight up and down. So that's the advantage of a jeans foot. This is a must have for quilting, especially for applique. Here's your open toe foot. 20C, a must have. All your decorative stitches, applique. Yeah. 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 And here is 40C. These are all included with the machine. Sideways motion foot. Can you tell us a little bit more about that one? Jamie? Yes, so the 790 being that it's a top of the line machine and the 880 plus also has this feature. So those machines um, have the ability to, there's special stitches in there that go wider than nine millimeters and they're just regular sewing stitches. It's not anything different, but the machine actually marches the fabric to the left and the right as it's creating those stitches and they get very wide. And it's like, there's a whole menu packed into these machines of sideways motion stitches. There's beautiful scallops that you could put on the edge of like bed sheets. You can take your basic bed sheets and make them look like, you know, multiple hundred dollar bed sheets by doing a little <laughs> scallop stitch on your Bernina. But yeah, that's the sideways motion. So it hops right, hops left. Yeah, to it, make just it, kinda, it kind of marches. Here. So it's always moving forward, but it just kind of is moving the fabric like this. And yeah. like backwards at the same time. It's really, <laughs> it's pretty incredible. Yeah. So this is an embroidery machine as well. So of course you're going to get the embroidery unit with the embroidery um, foot on it. And it comes with three hoop sizes in the box with that. And my favorite, I saved the best for last. You demonstrated this one first. This yes. is what makes Bernina a quilting machine, the stitch regulator. It has the, is it a laser in there that measures the movement of the fabric right, left, up and down and automatically speeds up and slows down the machine so that you have a regulated stitch length. It's all the way through. You get this amazing instructional guide in there as well as this really nice tin, but the three different foot types that Jamie demonstrated in the beginning of this video. Yeah, the stitch regulator is a really, it's a really, um, like, like we said, a very unique feature. And it's, it's a very expensive foot if you were to just buy it. So when it's packaged with the machine, it's really a lot of the value of the machine that you're getting with that, that particular presser foot. And uh, yeah, I think for me, it was like free, free motion um, quilting training wheels. Like I got pretty good at doing free motion. 
um, despite my like demo earlier where I was having all <laughs> kinds of troubles, but it's like, it really does make it easier. <laughs> so I'm just going to go through another one of my amazing things. And this was first invented by Odette Olchi of Bernina. It's called, they call it the freehand system. Some people call it a knee lifter, but it attaches to the front of your machine and you can use your knee to automatically lift and lower your material. That way you can keep your hands on the fabric, hence free hand system. <laughs> you free your hands uh, to be able to use that. So and like that's I said, we have it on the overlocker. So the 460 is the first uh, Bernina overlocker to have that feature. So yeah it has on the extension table that comes with the machine it has a guide here that you can shift left and right which is awesome for um guiding your material you know, it's really awesome when you're doing those sideways motion stitches so you can have your fence over there you can determine like where it needs to end and you can keep that fabric in a perfect row so that's where i really love using that guide <laughs> yeah it comes with this extension table that has that amazing um it's like a, a window so that you can change your bobbin without having to take off the extension table which is great you can embroider with the extension table on or off. If you take off the extension table, then it's like a tubular arm embroidery machine that you can wrap hard to hoop items around the, uh, what's that? The, <laughs> the free what arm. Is that they call the yeah. free arm, yes, yeah. thank you. That was a quiz, you passed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the hoops that comes with, this is the embroidery unit, which you can, you can sew with the embroidery unit on or off, correct? Yeah, you can you can leave it on. You can park that that arm that you're seeing there. You can actually park it further over to the left. So it's really out of your way. So if you're limited in space and you want to keep your embroidery module on, you can still use your sewing functions too. It just toggles through that touch screen between embroidery and sewing. Very yeah. easy. Uh, another thing that is so thoughtful of Bernina is that the hoops are rounded on the edges, which gives you a superior pull and helps to stabilize your fabric better than square hoops. So I love that they're uh, oval in shape. That's a great, great feature to have. Um, here's another great thing that they, oh, one of the best things in the world, look how big the bobbin is. I wish I had another one to show you, like the standard L bobbins. This holds so much more thread in it, so you're not going to be in the middle of your quilt and running out of bobbin thread. That's like the worst thing when you're free motioning, right? Definitely should have mentioned that when I was talking about the free motion, because free motion, embroidery, those are the things that just eat up your bobbins super fast. So having those jumbo bobbins is really, really nice. As a quilter, I can say it's very annoying when I have to yeah. continuously change my bobbin because fully holds like that much thread. So the bigger, go bigger, go home, the bigger, the better. I definitely, uh, I love that. So you get an amazing instruction manual. There's a DVD in here. There's a warranty card. There's catalogs in here. Um, just all the information that you'll need uh, with that. Oh, don't you love... And what do they call it? I think they call it a wardrobe. Yes. But I call it, I call it the Barbie box. I think so. Most this is where call it, or know it as the Barbie box. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm Barbie, so this is my yeah. box. <laughs> and you can could very easily put all of the included feet in there. And once you start to sew more and you get more of their amazing accessories you can fill it in i um, think mine is mine's got everything that you were showing so if you want to pop me back up here you can see oh I'll yeah show you I'll sh you can see how the, they hang so it really i mean this is very much the swiss right so everything has a place you put everything in its spot and if you get really nerdy you can have like my original bernina that i have i have you know, three rows full of feet and they're all in, in numerical order. Um, here's the little buttonhole. This is where needles can live. There's the drawers where your ex other accessories can, can fit in. And it's got legs so it stands up on your table nice. It's the little things. It actually fits conveniently on the back of the machine 
when you have it stored, correct, on this model? Well, on the 790, I'm not sure if it actually is made to clamp onto that one because it's a little it bit bigger series. machine. But a okay. lot of the machines it does. There's the the 480. Well, the 480, I think you'd have to buy it separate. But the um, the 5 Series has a magnetic box. Some of the other ones, this would clamp to the back. But yeah. Yeah. Here's another thing that's great. This machine, you can snap on and snap off the, oh my goodness. Stitch I'm plate. drawing a blank. Yes, <laughs> stitch plate. This is your straight stitch stitch plate. And you also have a uh, nine millimeter zigzag stitch plate and they have amazing markings on them. So you just press this little piece right here and it and it pops up. It's so convenient. You don't have a screwdriver to change, to clean out your bobbin area, to change your stitch plate, um, to change your foot. It's just um, everything's at the at your fingertips. Fun fact, this machine has a little magnet on the side. So you have a little uh, stylus that comes with it and it just so conveniently stores on the side of your machine right there through a magnet. It's the little things that just I, blow me away about this machine. Um, oil, tons of accessories. So I think I, I've gone over the big things. So I want to just tell everybody about the amazing special that's going on. This is called the Premier Package Event. It's for the whole month of May. But guess what? For a limited time, we have sweetened the deal. So let's bring up the first slide. So you get to choose one free gift when you purchase this machine. You can choose the B480 sewing machine, which is a $3,150 value, or you can choose that amazing serger that Jamie was using in the tutorial, or if you're really interested in using the embroidery functions of this machine, please take advantage of that version eight full digitizing software that's a $2,500 value. What an amazing offer. Like you can totally make this package to suit whatever you want it to be. And for those of you who pre-registered, we did give a sample um, download for uh, the software that you can try it out to see if you like it, to see if that's one of the extras that you would like to choose. <laughs> Was that Josie that said, I want it all? Well, guess what? It gets better, guys, because from May 14th through 18th, that's just a few days, and it starts tomorrow, uh, today's Thursday, so that's Friday. Um, you can combine 60 months, 0% financing on the Premier Package bundle. Um, if you're not ready to go full B790E plus sewing, quilting, and embroidery machine, you can use this on any machine over 3000 that's Bernina branded with your Bernina credit card. Phenomenal, phenomenal deal. So I think we need to sweeten the pot. Oh, wait, look, we already did. Okay, <laughs> so look at this, Jamie. I literally, this is such an amazing deal that we have going on. I cannot even advertise the price. So you get BSR, stitch regulator included. You have that jumbo bobbin, the nine millimeter stitch sweep stitch width, the integrated dual feed, and you have a long arm throat space of 10 inches from needle to neck, which is perfect for quilting. Um, it's lower than the everyday price, too low to advertise. So to get pricing, please contact your local allbrands.com retail store in San Antonio, Houston, New Orleans, Baton Rouge, or Slidell. I've included their phone numbers below. They're ready to talk to you on the phone. Call the store manager and schedule an appointment to come in and take advantage of this amazing, amazing offer. What do you think of that? <laughs> Sounds good to me. Yay. Yeah. Well, I think we can make it a little bit better. We showed so many great things today. I know, I know, right? So I have only six of these in, in stock right now. So 
very limited supply. We can get more, but that's how many we currently have. So I think because I'm so excited about our special event that we have today, we're gonna have an All Brands exclusive extra that we throw in on top of all of these things that we just showed you. You get your choice from allbrands.com. You can choose the one of the big books of. So either the big book of feet, big book of quilting, big book of embroidery. So you get to big choose book. one. Big book of surging. Oh, and big book of surging. I'm there adding so special. many big books. <laughs> and, or you can choose that binding attachment that Jamie just demonstrated that is phenomenal. I don't think it gets any better than that. Those are pretty nice. Those are pretty <laughs> nice um, add in giveaways. So it's like I, you know, definitely would take advantage of that offer. <laughs> so yes, please take advantage of that offer. Everybody, we're allbrands.com. We are a family owned and operated business since 1976. I am part of the family. I'm the second generation. My family, my parents started uh, in, in the 70s. Um, and we were actually uh, a Bernina dealer way back then too. And we've just grown with the brand. We love Bernina. We've always loved Bernina. And we're so excited to bring this amazing special to you. So yes, don't miss out on that special, everyone. Oh, you know what I forgot? There is one more thing that comes with this machine. <laughs> <The cover. laughs> the, uh, it's a cover. <laughs> it keeps the, the dust off of it, which is great. They're really nice. They've got big zippered pockets. And so you can put your, your wardrobe there and your slide on table and all of the stuff that comes with it. And it's just a nice way to keep your machine protected. So Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. So I think that is wraps up the end of our video. Do we have any questions, Callie? No? Just a lot of comments on such great offers. Um, great deal. <laughs> I think that's the, the only comments that we're getting. <laughs> it is a really great deal. There is, I mean, Bernina will do think, do promos like this only a few times, you know, in a year. So it's like, I think this is like you said, Barbara, at the beginning, probably the best offer we've had so far. And and the fact that you guys have such a wonderful dealer that will support you, um, that also is part of what you're getting when you buy a Bernina machine is the education that we do with Barbara and her team and, you know, the education that they offer you. So thanks for, thanks for that. And thanks for being a dealer. Thanks for being Bernina customers. We really love you guys. And thank you for being an amazing manufacturer that provides excellent tutorials online, excellent products, the most accessories, the best stitch regulation, the best quilting machine on the market, in my opinion. So, yeah. Thank you, Bernina. And thank you, Jamie. You inspire me every day from your posts on wealso.com. You're welcome, Barbara. Thanks so much for asking. It was a pleasure to work with you. Yeah, and it's such a pleasure to see everyone in the comments. Um, we're so excited to have our great community of watchers. And I didn't forget, for every live video we do, we have a big grand prize at the end. So don't forget, like, comment, and share or subscribe. And we will be giving away a $100 allbrands.com e-gift card uh, very soon. And I may even give another $25 just because I'm feeling so generous today, Jamie. <laughs> I mean, you know, I, you're inspired. And, and hopefully people will be um, getting into the store to get all some of these awesome yes. machines and great accessories. Buy a machine. Pick a machine, a serger, or full digitizing software. Combine it with 60 months, 0% financing to get a super low monthly payment and the All Brands Extra for choose your book or binder. And if you want to combine that roller foot, that's 25% off in our stores as well. So we have amazing, amazing specials going on right now. All right. So let's choose a winner. And I'm going to ask Callie to select randomly. And thank you, Callie, for all of your hard work backstage. Yay, and fixing my mic. Thank you. 
<laughs> All right, and here we go. Josie, I love Yay. that you won. <laughs> How huge that manual is. Yes, this yes. machine has a, a lot of capabilities, Josie. Um, it's, it can do so many more things than what we were even able to scratch the surface on today. We didn't even get into the embroidery. Uh, it's phenomenal. Woohoo, she won. <laughs> yeah, nice prize. Good job. <laughs> so, Josie, email me at events at allbrands.com and I will be happy to send you that allbrands.com e gift card. And congratulations. And thank you, everyone, for joining us. Thank you, Bernina. And thank you, Jamie David. It's a pleasure having you on the show. You are so welcome. All right. Until next time. Yep. We'll see y'all later. Bye. Mwah.